Hi everyone, here I'm going to explain how do we execute text mining using R. In order to execute text mining using R, we need these following packages. The packages such as TM that is primarily used for text mining. We have the package Snowball C that primarily we use for text stemming and uh, word cloud is for visualization, specially generating word cloud. And we also need our, our color brewer and it's primarily for having color palettes and show set and sentiment art we are using for sentiment analysis and finally we are using ggplot for data visualization. And uh, in my system the package is already activated that's the reason I don't need to install it again. I use the library function in order to activate the package. So let me activate the package first. These are the packages getting activated in my system right now. And thereafter, what I do, I just go and uh, activate the library read Excel because I'm going to read an Excel data. In order to read an Excel data, I need the package read Excel. And I'm going to read a text which is in the form of Excel. And uh, the name of the document would be uh, food reviews dot xlsx and let me activate because here in my case i don't need to mention the path because my uh, path is already activated and uh, here if you see the text the text consists of around 400 rows and that is 400 not sorry you know, 5000 reviews and uh, if you see the rows here there are around 5000 reviews here and primarily I'm going to use the column text and uh, using that uh, particular column and trying to analyze uh, major themes using text mining and uh, before we go in detail and first uh, if you look at line number 22 I just convert my data into corpus corpus is nothing but collection of document and let me convert as corpus document and I have got the large corpus document here and followed by that let me execute some of this data cleaning process I'll start from line number 51 onwards because the other lines are very much customized lines I don't need to execute here let me go further executing line number 51 and 51 primarily trying to give an indication to R that uh, and whenever there is unnecessary uh, slashes at the rate delimiter or any other kind of uh, uh, you know notations please make sure that it is replaced with the space okay so i have provided a detailed explanation in my additional document please read the same so that you'll get better clarity and let me execute line number 51 thereafter line number 52 53 54 which actually uh, giving instruction that these are the notations or these are the symbols which need to be replaced so let me execute that as well and uh, here when you execute you will get some set of warning that's a positive warning so therefore you can ignore the same afterwards when it comes to line number 56 it talk about converting all your text into lowercase Thereafter, line number 58 removes all the numbers and here afterwards I just use all the stop words I just remove it and also if you look at line number 64 I just request that while using stop words we also remove some customer stop words like service dog and food so let me implement that as well and afterwards i am requesting in line number 66 to remove some of the punctuations used and which is visible in my text after that i just remove unnecessary white space because many times if you look at reviews there will be unnecessary space in between two words i'm removing that and followed by that i'm stemming i just explain stemming in my readings and please look at uh, what is stemming in detail and afterwards what i do I'm just building term document metrics using this term document metrics function and uh, convert into metrics afterwards. Afterwards, I'm just printing uh, or sorting and printing the frequency by converting in as a data frame. And I can print the headings of the top 10 frequently words here. This actually talk about what are those words which is very much pertinent or very much popular, very much 
uh, or I would say that frequently appeared in my text. The words like like, taste, flavor, good, product, use, love, one, great, try. These are all words which is very pertinent or popular or most frequent in my text. And afterwards, probably I can convert the same these words as uh, bar chart. That is a very easy way of representing uh, the most prominent or pertinent words here. If you see the diagram, you can see that the word like, taste, flavor, good, product, all of them are frequently appearing. If you see the frequency here, the word like is repeated more than 2000 times in this particular text. And, but I believe if you look at all these words, you can see majority of the words are positive words. Hence, we can infer that the review is pretty positive in nature. And let us see in detail later using some other visualization techniques as well. And uh, I will use another technique called as word cloud. And word cloud is nothing but uh, it's trying to print all these words, which is very popular in my document matrix. And if you see, and uh, I can see the word cloud, word cloud two package I have used for printing this word cloud. Here I can see, and it's very pretty dynamic in nature. And you can see the frequency also reflected if you move around your cursor. And uh, look at here. So here the word like, taste, use, good, try, love, flavors, all these words are very much repeated in the text. That's what's shown here. And it says that most of the words, which is very much uh, pertinent in this particular word cloud is very positive words. And hence we can say that review in general is very positive in nature. And uh, let me go further and see the word association i have explained what is word association in the document but uh, the word association trying to extract uh, these words like like flavor and love and just trying to say that please actually print those words which carry association uh, which is greater than 10 percent of the times and for example the word like if any associated word is there which carry greater than 10 percent of the time which occur together probably will be printing it here so let me see uh, the associated words. It will take around uh, 30 seconds time. Just, just wait for that. And, and here you can see these are the possible words which is actually printed as per my request. For example, here is trying to say that the word like is repeated uh, uh, at least 10% uh, of the time along with these words. And looking at this and I can understand what is the associated word. Uh, with respect to like, flavor and love. This is also one kind of inference we usually make in order to understand the contextual aspect of that words which is printed here. Not printing line number 122 because it also print the same thing but in a different way. So let us proceed further and let us print the sentiment analysis using the package shows it. And uh, shows it is a package which is primarily used for printing sentiment and which help us in terms of understanding the emotion which is there in that uh, you know particular text as such so the important point which we remember is that in order to use that sentiment uh, analysis using shawset we don't need to have uh, document term matrix we simply need the plain text that's the reason i just connected here text dollar text that is my vector which is that my original data so usually sentiment our package will take some time and in order to print i just requested a bar plot here i just told that that uh, please print uh, some of the sentiment in form of uh, you know you know uh, emotions for example this particular package i have explained detail but still you can uh, i'll give you a brief explanation so this package helps us in terms of getting sentiment or emotions into eight different themes as well as positive and negative valence. Yes, I got the results right now. And if you see, uh, the results are actually in terms of bar chart. It says that, um, and for the first, I just tell you what happens here. It actually classified all your text into eight emotional state as well as negative and positive valence uh, aspects. Okay, so here we can see that most of this emotion state uh, which they classify this is a default uh, emotion state okay which is actually printed by shawset here you can see that uh, trust as a positive emotion state is dominated followed by joy as well as anticipation this is a negative emotion state uh, like anchor like fear 
and as well as sadness is, is actually not that prominent in this particular text as well as if you see that balance negative versus positive balance you can see that positive is dominated hence overall we can say that the review is mostly uh, positive in nature and this is one way of getting the sentiment with respect to the text the other way of getting sentiment is using sentiment art package so if you use line number 65 you can get uh, that uh, sentiment score and i can print the sentiment score here and it'll take some time just just wait so if you see the results here it's printing sentiment with respect to every sentence in the document and uh, for example if it explains that element id element id one it shows that that is your document one that is nothing but your text one that is your raw one where there are three sentences and uh, first sentence got 21 words second sentence got 15 words third sentence got 12 words okay it is trying to give sentiment with respect to every sentence here and the first sentence within that particular review is positive second sentence is negative and third is positive so that's what it's printing in most of the cases this particular package help us in terms of understanding the sentiment correctly with respect to every sentence within that particular document okay so likewise is try to print the sentiment with respect to all these documents that is almost 5000 documents as well as within the document every sentence wise are also printing the results here so i can also understand that the whole sentiment associated with the text and I can see that the overall sentiment within the body or within the text would be around 0.15. It is actually a positive value. It says that the overall sentiment with respect to this text is slightly above zero, that is neutral. And uh, it means that slightly positive and it's not so positive, but it's not negative, by the way. So that's what's printing. And finally, I'll look at uh, the DPLY package. What happens here using DPLY are I'll try to group the sentiment across the document. For example, I just want to get uh, one sentiment score for every review. First, what I do, I just group the sentiment score based on element ID that is nothing but the uh, reviews or document. Finally, I'll summarize the word count as well as I'll calculate mean sentiment with respect to uh, every uh, document. So that's what happens here. I created something called as my group. If you see my group, you can see the mean sentiment associated with every document. So you can see that the first document, that is first review, it got a positive sentiment, second one negative. And uh, possibly this sentiment score help us in terms of understanding what's the emotion, what's the overall sentiment associated with every document. From practical application, we can see that, you know, whenever there is negative sentiment, company need to look at things very seriously, very strong negative. It is so uh, negative in terms of its sentiment and if it is near to one that is so positive and company consider that you know it will be strongly positive with respect to that particular product or service that could be the interpretation